Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we are going to look at the pass mark. So our problem, we need to display whether a student has passed or failed a subject depending on their mark. 50 or greater is pass and anything less than 50 would be a fail. In this example, we can see if we put in a pass mark of 51, it will give us a message that you have passed. If it's less than 50, then it will have a message that says you have not passed. So our IPO charts, the inputs are going to be the marks. The outputs is going to be also the mark and also the message. So whether it's pass or fail, and then the processes would be to check to see if the mark is greater than or equal to 50. Our pseudocode, we start with begin, we then input mark, if mark is greater than or equal to 50, then the grade is equal to pass and then we'll display the message well done or pass. Else the grade is equal to not pass, then we need to close that, uh, that if statement and then we display the grade. So if we look at our flowchart here, it's quite simple. The first little bit will allow us to take the mark in. We then need to check if the mark is greater than or equal to 50 and if it is we need to set up this new variable grade which is equal to the message of pass and we also need to print uh, like another message that says well done and then finally you will display the grade which is this variable so it's either pass or not pass and then you display the mark as well and then you finally end it at the bottom. So the desk check. In this desk check, we're looking to check to see if the logic of our program actually works. We're going to put in an input of 51 and our anticipated results are going to be that we pass. So if we run through our code, we can see here that when we put in our marks, our input output is going to be 51. Our mark, our variable of mark is going to be set at 51. We then need to ask the question, so is mark greater than or equal to 50 and in our case is 51 greater than or equal to 50 and the answer is true so therefore we will um, set our grade variable to pass and we will display well done okay if it's not we move to the next line of code which is still asking for grade equal to not pass now we don't really need to do anything there because nothing really happens there but it will display the grade at the end. So because we've set it here to pass, the grade at the end will also be pass. And if we have a look at that in real code, it will do exactly that. So if we put in 51, it says well done and then pass. So our logic is, is pretty sound with this um, problem. We then look at our Python code. So it's quite simple. We need to first take the variable of uh, mark and we need to make sure that that's an integer and then we ask our question if mark is greater than or equal to 50 then the grade is equal to pass and we'll print on that line well done else the grade is equal to you did not pass and then we will print uh, try hard next time but then we also need to convert that variable back to a string so that we can can we can concatenate it for our final li line of code. So again, the output, very similar to the previous output. If we put in 51, it will display that message. Um, you have passed, well done, and your mark was, etc. Anyways, guys, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.